June 10th. The next best thing to do. Seek, and ye shall find. Luke 11, verse 9. Seek if you have not found. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss. If you ask for things from life instead of from God, you ask amiss. That is, you ask from a desire for self-realization. The more you realize yourself, the less you will seek God. Seek, and ye shall find. Get to work. Narrow your interests to this one. Have you ever sought God with your whole heart, or have you only given a languid cry to Him after a twinge of moral neuralgia? Seek and concentrate, and then you will find. Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. Are you thirsty or smugly indifferent? So satisfied with your experience that you want nothing more of God. Experience is a gateway, not an end. Beware of building your faith on experience. The metallic note will come in at once, the censorous note. You can never give another person that which you have found, but you can make him homesick for what you have. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Draw nigh to God. Knock, the door is closed, and you suffer from palpitation as you knock. Cleanse your hands. Knock a bit louder. You begin to find you were dirty. Purify your heart. This is more personal. Still, you were desperately in earnest now. You will do anything. Be afflicted. Have you ever been afflicted before, God, at the state of your inner life? There is no strand of self-pity left, but a heartbreaking affliction of amazement to find you were the kind of person that you are. Humble yourself. It is a humbling business to knock at God's door. You have to knock with the crucified thief. To him that knocketh, it shall be opened.